Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles will be in the information section. We start in Canada, in Calgary, June the 15th. Calgary begins cleanup after devastating storm causes major damage. Flooding. This is in the global news. Thousands are cleaning up after a thunderstorm on Saturday evening that brought torrential rain and damaging hail, causing flash flooding. Cloud seeding planes were in the air around Calgary yesterday, but these thunderstorms were so intense that updrafts were strong enough to produce tennis ball sized hail that unfortunately caused significant property damage. And in 660 News, City News, Notley calls for disaster relief as province says it may take some time. This is on June the 16th. The person also raised concerns about cloud seeding and is worried that they are missing the, the area and that is causing these heavy hailstorms. Another person says she will look into the cloud seeding issue and determine if there is some more help that can be offered through that front to help mitigate these storms in the future. She also added that, that it is a sign of the times that these storms get more more wicked and cause more damage. So we're seeing it's admitted that weather modification planes were in the air at the time of these storms. The damage has been shown. If you look at the articles, follow the links, you'll see um, some serious damage. And the suggestion is, is that even though there was cloud seeding planes in the air, which created a very damaging storm, the problem was, is that where the storm happened, where it actually landed, where the, uh, where the hail landed, that area above that hadn't been modified so that's the problem you also need to modify the weather above that area as well so that's kind of not logical to carry out weather modification create a seriously damaging storm and then claim that you need to carry out more weather modification to stop that is kind of illogical if you don't do the first weather modification just leave nature to be nature get the storm you're supposed to get if it turns out it's a bad storm then like everywhere else it's a bad storm over to the Rocky Mountain Goat, June the 13th. This person writing a letter. Surely he knows about HARP, High Frequency Active Rural Research Program. Yes, that has the word research in it. But after a couple of decades of researching on live targets, when does it lose its masquerade of just research? Good to know there's someone out there writing to the newspaper. Fox News, local reaction to ending of Ward County's decades-long weather modification program. So we've been following this story quite closely. The weather modification program ran in Ward County for roughly 50 years, but it created much debate in recent years among area farmers against it and those in favour of it. And remember when they had the vote, 85% of the people voting were against it and 15% were in favour of it. So it's not really much of a debate, is it? Local farmer said, I'm really excited about this summer to see a change. We've even had a couple of showers come through the last night that were small. Might have amounted to ten hundreds in isolated areas, but it still matters. And in the past, those storms wouldn't have happened. The county commissioners had set aside between $150,000 and $200,000 in case the programme continued. In one of the last episodes, it was announced that it was $31,000. Seems it's a little bit more than that. So over to Australia. Here's how a Tasmanian New Zealand COVID-19 travel bubble could look. And uh, this article is a sort of compa uh, comparison between New Zealand and Tasmania as tourist destinations from Australia to do with the COVID-19 travel restrictions and the rem removal of them. There's a long-held angst in Tasmania's Wild West that Queen's Town's rain is the product of cloud seeding for hydroelectric dams. Now that angst would have been well-founded a few years ago. Whether that is true or not, well it would have been a few years ago, it's not now. If we go over to uh, Hydro Tasmania, the cloud seeding program, Hydro Tasmania no longer conducts a cloud seeding program cloud seeding flights stopped in June 2016 and before June 2016 then Hydro Tasmania sometimes used cloud seeding over some catchments to produce moderate increase in rainfall. When operating the program was reviewed by independent experts and we sought to keep Tasmanians informed about it. Hydro Tasmania was involved in both experimental and operational cloud seeding over Tasmania and mainland Australia from 1964. In that time, we developed a great deal of knowledge and expertise in the area. 
Now you remember from uh, previous reports, Tasmanian floods from with the report on the 7th of June 2016. So coincidentally, Hydro Tasmania stopped in June 2016. So Tasmania floods, La Trobe woman's body recovered, two still missing as evacuations continue. On the 10th of June 2016, Hydro Tasmania asked to explain cloud seeding in catchment day before flooding. And remember, Hydro Tasmania say they stopped in June 2016. So if we look at a summary of the 2016 cloud seeding flights and catchments targeted, we can see in beige there, it says cloud seeding operations suspended for the remainder of the 2016 season. And the date that it was suspended on was the 6th of June. The, 6th, uh, the 7th of June is when it was reported about the people missing and Mary Alford dying. But if we go over to um, the Snowy Hydro website, is cloud seeding used elsewhere? There are currently more than 150 cloud seeding programs in operation all over the world. So this uh, was pre-2016, uh, this statement. But there you go, as per 2016, 150 cloud seeding programs in operation all over the world. In Australia, Hydro Tasmania has been involved in cloud seeding operations and research since 1964. So the media article of uh, the angst regarding that, they're in a better situation now. So it's Ward County no longer doing weather modification. Tasmania, as far as we can see, no longer doing weather modification. Another good day. Over to ResearchGate, evaluation of weather mod modification by aircraft by the use of SINDAR. This is from 2011. In the abstract, by the use of GPS and SINDAR, the physical tests were made for the operation of weather modification in Zhangxi on 16th of February 2008 and 21st of January 2010. The study shows that after cloud seeding, microphysical changes in the supercooled clouds may lead to the mitigation of the basic reflectivity of radar in the supercooled layer of cloud. While the enhancement of the basic re reflectivity on radar in the warm cloud and rain layer and the reflectivity over the targeted regions was quicker in reaching the max maximum value than the non-operated clouds which are under the similar conditions. After the cloud seeding, the maximum of the changing rate of the echo reflectivity in the warm region may be 100% or more. So from 10 years ago, that's a study about the reflectivity of clouds, weather modified clouds, and their reflectivity of radar signals. Over to the American Meteorological Society, a research article from 1967. Hygroscopicity and chemical composition of silver iodide smoke used in cloud seeding experiments. You can have a read of that if you want to. In Africa 21, Africa, HEC Paris launches Green Entrepreneurship Program. We covered this in the last video. It's making startups viable to finance. The CDL climate will also enable capacity building for startups in the geoengineering sector and climate solutions. CDL Creative Destruction Lab. CDL Climate Creative Destruction Lab Climate based in Canada and Paris, France. Looking to Africa for entrepreneurs with ideas about geoengineering. Over to academia, there's a research paper from 2010, reassessment of rain enhancement experiments and operations in Israel, including synoptic considerations. In the abstract, a reanalysis of the results from cloud seeding in northern Israel is described. The analysis covers the period of the randomized Israel II experiment, 1969, and the subsequent period, 1975 to the present, where operational seeding is being conducted. The evaluation is carried out using the double ratio method, as was done in the past. We analyze the precipitation data in the north of Israel before and during the seeding period. And that was compared to data in southern Israel that wasn't seeded. So there's some dates there for you of uh, 1969, at least, Israel, weather modification. There's another paper in JSTOR, 
The second Israeli randomized Clausiden experiment evaluation of the results. So Journal of Applied Meteorology, 1962 to 1982. Now in the Jerusalem Post, from six months ago, December 2019, with ra rains returning to Israel, cloud seeding is being renewed. The amount of rain a cloud produces can be increased using a special compound. EMS Mekarotz, one of the water companies in Israel, has started cloud seeding on Sunday in order to increase the amount of rain. During the 1960s and 70s, two such seeding experiments took place in Israel, which indicted a 13% increase of rains in northern Israel. Got some new books in the uh, Anti-Weather Modification News Office from G. Brower, Weather Modification. Also German language book from Hans Joachim Tank, Wetter Beinflussung, Weather Modification. And there's 80 pictures in there. We'll get back to that in another edition. And from Lewis J. Batten, Harvest in the Clouds, Advances in Weather Modification. It's all quite old books. That one from 1969. To finish up with this time, this is an original press photo from 1985. This one's going to be framed and put on the wall. On the left is Alan Lisenby. Lisenby. On the right is Bob Swart, meteorologist. And the information on the back it says, gives the names and says, stand near vapor generator mounted on wing bottom. It's titled Cloud Seeding, 10th of May 1985 and it gives the file details on the back as well interesting picture gives you some more evidence for your files when people say oh it's all rubbish you say oh have a look at this original press photo of an airplane in 1985 for weather modification 35 years ago nice picture take care see you in the next video